You know, it's Toy Fair week when the news just keeps rolling before the event even starts. McFarlane's doing DC toys now. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and yes, you probably saw this news because this was the big news that erupted today. McFarlane Toys announced that it has entered into a licensing deal with Warner Brothers for the DC Comics license. Now their license will actually cover, it appears, collector figures. Uh, there's not a lot of full details on exactly what this is gonna include, but let me go ahead and just start things off by reading you the press release that McFarlane sent out today. So the press release reads, Batman, Superman, and the entire roster of DC's iconic characters have a new place to hang up their capes and cowls. McFarlane Toys announced today they have entered into a three-year global licensing agreement with Warner Brothers Consumer Products on behalf of DC to release DC Multiverse Collector figures in both mass and specialty retail spaces. Beginning in early 2020, McFarlane Toys will bring dozens of the iconic DC comic books, video games, and feature films near endless stable of characters to life with 6-inch through 12-inch ultra-posable action figures, corresponding accessories, and vehicles branded DC Multiverse. Uh, the DC Multiverse Collector figures and related toys will be available at major retail locations beginning in 2020. Fans of both McFarlane Toys and DC can check out McFarlane.com and the McFarlane social media channels for updates. So, the reason this is big news is because as we've already discussed, we learned that Mattel lost the DC license, or at least a big part of the DC license, as far as the Boys Toys brand goes. Uh, in that news uh, that was released Earlier this year, I think it was earlier this year, late December, uh, we found out that Spin Master was awarded a DC Comics license for toys, uh, for the boys category specifically, um, according to the press release that we already took a look at. So at the time, uh, I talked about that, and I kind of pondered what that meant as far as collector figures. Uh, if Spin Master will only be focusing on stuff aimed towards kids, or if Spin Master will be doing collector figures. And maybe, perhaps, this right here is our answer, because it seems like McFarlane's license is specifically for collector toys. Now, there's not a ton of specifics here, so I have no idea if this is um, any kind of like exclusive license. I don't know if this means that multiple companies are gonna be able to do DC toys in this style. I don't know if that means Spin Master only has kids stuff and McFarlane only has collector stuff. I have no idea. I don't know what that means yet as far as how all of this is gonna pan out, but it's gonna be really interesting. When this news broke on social media today, I saw reactions basically all over the board. I saw everything uh, from, yes, we're finally going to get something new, fresh blood, I'm glad Mattel's not doing DC anymore, all the way to, oh, great, now we're going to get non-posable figures from McFarlane, or we're only going to get a couple figures a year from McFarlane, which, because that's how things have gone with their Star Trek license. Uh, and of course, I saw a lot of people lamenting on why certain other companies didn't get the license instead. So it seems like this news is definitely big enough to warrant a pretty crazy reaction from fans because, well, they want to know what's going to happen with their beloved characters and what kind of toys they can expect. Now, I totally understand why a lot of people, when talking about McFarlane, would immediately think unarticulated figures or figures with weird articulation, because let's be honest, that's kind of what they're known for. I mean, yes, they're known for having really great, highly detailed sculpts, but their figures haven't always been the most articulated in the past. However, if we look at their current Fortnite figures, I think that is probably a pretty good indication of what we can expect with their DC figures, especially since this press release goes out of its way to say ultra posable figures. So it seems like these are gonna be highly posable and detailed figures because that is what McFarlane is known for. It's interesting um, that it lists off characters and vehicles. I don't know if that means that they're actually gonna go into the vehicles because that could just very well be the details of the license. Like the, de the, the license allows them to do collector figures within the six inch through 12 inch realm and it looks like it includes vehicles. I don't think that's any sort of confirmation that they're gonna do vehicles or even 12 inch scale figures. It's just how the license is kind of worded and that's the way it, it 
breaks down. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens here. And again, New York Toy Fair kicks off on Saturday, so maybe McFarlane is going to have more news for us. Now, I have no idea if they're actually going to have anything on display yet, because again, this doesn't start until 2020, and they specifically listed spring 2020, um, which means that's probably too early to see any actual product yet. Uh, it looks, as far as I can tell, it looks like Mattel is still doing figures through 2019 uh, before this license apparently is going to be handed over to both Spin Master and McFarlane, as far as we know right now. Again, we still don't know the full details, and Mattel hasn't even made any sort of like official announcement one way or the other yet. Um, so right now, we're basing all of this off of what we've seen with Spin Master being awarded a DC license and McFarlane being an awarded a DC license. Uh, and we're just kind of speculating otherwise. So it's it's just going to be one of those things that's really interesting to see what happens. Um, so that's really all there is to it, guys. Uh, what do you think of this news? What are your feelings on this? Are you excited to see McFarlane tackle something like this that they haven't really done before with the DC Comics license? Uh, what kind of toys do you want to see McFarlane do? Do you want them to be superposable? Again, they called them ultra posable, so I think that's what we're getting. Uh, but are you expecting like six inch figures? Are you hoping for maybe something like in the seven inch realm, similar to what we were getting from DC collectibles? It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. So as a reminder, guys, New York Toy Fair starts this weekend. I will be there. I'll be covering the event. If McFarlane does have anything on display, I'll definitely make sure I get some footage for you. So stay tuned right here to the Pixel Dan channel. Until next time, my friends.